it's easy to remove yourself from the environment around you and see nature versus everyday life as two separate things. Whereas when you're here, you are constantly reminded that you are part of something bigger. The slogan of the uni is the home of the wonderful and you really do feel like you are in the home of the wonderful. You really made me realize that I actually have the ability to make an impact and a significant one in labs. My name is Nicole and I study biological sciences in an integrated masters. Throughout my time here, I've definitely felt a push and encouragement for independence, problem solving, as well as an overarching passion for scientific inquiry. What we do here is we teach students how to think in an innovative way and combine different biological and microbiological techniques to answer two biological questions and tackle grand challenges. Due to agricultural practices and climate change, our waterways, much like the broads that you can see here at UEA, more frequently come across harmful algal blooms. These are known to produce toxins, which have a devastating effect of killing fish. Students in my lab have been involved in developing molecular apparatus to actually quantify and predict when these harmful algal blooms are going to occur. So we know that toxins do affect organisms at all levels and what we are particularly interested in here is how they affect reproduction, fertility and embryo development as a next step. Nicole's project is fairly multidisciplinary because she is using zebrafish for very basic research questions where she can use experimental work and experimental manipulations and is then translating her findings in the zebrafish into human biology and human medical approaches which yields data that we can actually transfer to local fertility clinics for further consideration. So as the world population increases and ages, our use of medicines will increase. This will have many environmental impacts, uh, which could be very detrimental. For example, thinking about reproductive health, if we release too many chemicals, it can reduce reproductive health of animals in the environment, but also can cause an increase in antibiotic resistance in microbes. So right now, people in my lab are currently growing stem cells and changing those stem cells into different sorts of tissues we find in human beings and using those to make disease models in order to test drugs. Studying biology in an interdisciplinary manner is very, very important because each of the different levels of biology, whether it be environmental, whether it be thinking about organisms as a whole, or working all the way down to the molecular level, are all connected. And you can't study one aspect without understanding more about the others.